collision centers of the Tri-State, Sperry Auto Parts, Border Sporting Goods, Manning Furniture, Kentucky Farmers Bank, and Primary Plus Healthcare. Now, let's go live. Louisa, Kentucky, and Lawrence County High School as tonight. It'll be Greenup County and Lawrence County doing battle for the third time this year and for the second time in a week. These two teams met last Wednesday night when Lawrence County won by a score of four to one. Early in the season, about the second game of the season in early April, Lawrence County came to Greenup County and Greenup County won that ball game by a score of nine nothing. So this is the rubber game of this series. Greenup County comes in with a record of 16 and 17. Lawrence County comes in with a record of 24 and five. We'll come back with the starting lineups in just a couple of moments on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichanga, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget pleasing, great tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location now open. Reyes Hermanos Nunez. Quality marathon gasoline. Great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Refresh. Refuel. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Since 1956, Sperry Auto Parts has served the Tri-State with used, late model, foreign, and domestic auto parts. Sperry Auto Parts stays in touch with dealers nationwide through their hotline service for parts and late model repairable cars, trucks, and SUVs specializing in Jeep, Chrysler, and GM. Sperry's provides a 30-day warranty on engines and transmissions. They also have a computerized inventory, making for quicker and better service. See the winning team at Sperry Auto Parts, Route 8 in South Portsmouth, Kentucky, across from the Carl Perkins Bridge. You've thought for a a long time about keeping your firearms and valuables safe and out of harm's way. Border Sporting Goods has the area's greatest selection of Liberty saves and a wide range of sizes, styles, and colors. And Borders also has the Tri-State's best and most complete selection of firearms, hunting supplies, fishing supplies, archery supplies, knives, camo, and boots. From the smallest fishing hook to the largest Liberty safe, the best brands, the best selection, and the best prices in the Tri-State are at Border Sporting Goods. Route 60 West in Ashland, where your money will be well spent. Welcome back here to Lawrence County as we get ready for Lawrence County and Greenup County. Lawrence County 24 and 5 on the year. They lost to Pikeville last night by a score of 9 to 8. And they will be at Belfry this Thursday night to close out the regular season. Greenup County, of course, coming off a 2-1 victory last night over Paintsville at Greenup County. And that was their second win over the Tigers this year. Right now before the game, uh, Coach Travis Feltner being honored uh, for his accomplishments here at Two so seasons, giving him a talking about his career here this past Saturday the Bulldogs defeated Raceland three to zero resulting in coach Feltner's 300 career victory he picked up his 300th career victory this past Saturday Giving Coach Feltner a nice round of applause here for his 300th win 
uh, last Saturday against Raceland. We're going to take our second break, and then we're going to come back and set the starting lineups and get you ready for the first pitch. It's coming up in a couple of moments here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, then you're looking for Stultz Pharmacy. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy. See the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup and Wheelersburg. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. Where does your money go? When you bank with us, your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan. A real estate agent sells a house. They get a commission. They deposit it with us. We use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers. Hometown people helping each other grow. That's what it's all about. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC, we are the home office. What are the keys to better health care? At SOMC, we start by putting it right at your fingertips. Now you can have a virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center, very good things are happening here. When you're in a vehicle accident, Monroe's Collision wants you to know you do have a choice where you take it. Monroe Collision's technicians will repair your vehicle back to factory specifications using the highest quality parts, materials, and equipment, and they take pride in restoring your vehicle back to pre-accident condition. Choose Monroe Collision, where they handle all aspects of your claim. Stop by their convenient locations, Portsmouth, Jackson, Chillicothe, and Ashland. Monroe's Frame and Collision, our work says it all. Experience the plus side of healthcare at Primary Plus. Primary Plus has seven locations throughout the region, including offices in Ashland, South Shore, Vansburg, Tolesboro, and Flemingsburg, offering complete care for the entire family, including primary care, pediatrics, women's health, dental, and on-site pharmacies, plus the convenience of evening hours, affordable pricing, and a patient-centered medical team. Primary Plus is always welcoming new patients. Learn more at primaryplus.net. Welcome back here to Louisa and Lawrence County High Schools. We get you ready for high school baseball action on a very warm Tuesday evening. Trying to get the rest of the lineup in for Lawrence County, and then we'll give them to you. For Lawrence County, leading off will be the D.H. Blue Fletcher. He'll be D.H.ing for the third baseman, Jake Deerfield. Hitting second will be the left fielder, Braden Maynard. Hitting third, the shortstop, Abner Collinsworth. Hitting fourth, the first baseman, Bryce Blevins. Hitting fifth, the right fielder, Ethan Witt. Hitting sixth and on the mound, pitching Will Lafferty. Hitting seventh, the catcher, Mason Preston. Hitting eighth, the second baseman, Jacob Fletcher, and hitting ninth, the center fielder, Nick Collinsworth. It will be Will Lafferty on the mound, pitching a right-hander for Lawrence County. For Greenham County, leading off and playing right field, Bradley Atkins hitting second, the center fielder, Austin Clarkson. Hitting third and playing third base, Carson Wireman. Hitting fourth, the left fielder, Hunter Clevenger. Hitting fifth and playing first base, Brock Kitchen. Hitting sixth, the DH, Dakota Tool. He'll be hitting for the second baseman. The right fielder, number 23. And that is Jonah Gibson. Hitting seventh, the catcher, Logan Bays. Hitting eighth and pitching, Matthew Boggs. And hitting ninth and playing shortstop, Eli Hankins. Matthew Boggs will be on the mound. We get this game underway as Lafferty looks in. And the first pitch is inside, ball one. One and zero to Bradley Atkins. Strike right down the heart of the plate. Atkins hitting 250 on the year. Now, 
Lafferty looks in and a 1 1 pitch. Swung on and a little blooper. Check swing out to second base, and the second baseman has it. Tried to check his swing and popped it up to second. Now batting the center field. Lafferty ready, and the first pitch is swung on, and a little blooper out towards the mound. Pitcher has it, throws, and he got him. That will go one to three for the putout, and quickly two down, and it brings up Carson Wireman. Now batting, the third baseman. Wireman hitting three. 333 on the year. First pitch is upstairs, ball one. One and over to Wireman, two down, nobody on. Here's a breaking pitch called strike. Out over the inside part of the plate. One and one. Laverty ready and the one one pitch swung on foul back this way. As you can see the netting move if you're watching TV. Got one ball and two strikes to Wireman. Lafferty has the sign, winds, and the one two is way outside. He tried to protect the plate. Outside pitch, found it off to the right now to play, and the count stays two and two. Under Clevenger on deck if Wireman can get aboard here in the top of the first inning. Atkins popped up to second. Clarkson grounded out to the pitcher. Lafferty ready in the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on, ground ball hard to second base, past the second baseman, and into center field. They're going to rule that a base Coming hit. To the plate, the left fielder, number 25, Hunter Clevenger. Is that ball to the right of the second baseman who was going to have to try backhanded. So Wireman on it first. That brings up Hunter Clevenger. First pitch, swung on, grounded, foul down the third baseline. Wyman on down at first base with a single to center field. Two down here in the top of the first 0 and one to Clevenger. Again. Lafferty checks Wireman over at first base. He'll throw over and he's back. Again, Wireman takes a lead. Lafferty checks him. He'll come to the plate and he it hit the bat. Foul ball. Coming inside, tried to duck, and it hits the bat. The count goes one and two. So now Clevenger going to have to protect the plate with two strikes. There is a slight breeze blowing. It's blowing left to right. Wireman with the lead. And he'll go back as Lafferty steps off. Clevenger steps out of the batter's box, calls time. 
One game left in the regular season after this. Greenup County at East Carter on Thursday, 6 o'clock start. 5.50 or so pregame. Pitch just missed a little low, 2-2. Two and two. Again, Wireman takes a lead down at first base. Laverty checks him. He'll come to the plate, swing and a miss. At a high inside pitch, he strikes him out. For Greenup County in the first, no runs, one hit, no errors, one left on base. We go to the bottom half of the first inning. Greenup County nothing, and Lawrence County coming to bat here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit in Catlettsburg, KentuckyFarmersBank.com, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Quality Marathon Gasoline, great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Back here at Lawrence County High School in Louisa, Kentucky on a warm Tuesday evening. Clear blue skies, plenty of sunshine. And temperature right at 89 degrees at game time. Let's set Greenup County for you defensively down at first base. Brock Kitchen at second base is Jonah Gibson. Who had a heck of a pitching performance last night against Painesville. At shortstop is Eli Hankins. At third base, Carson Wireman. In left field, Hunter Clevenger. In center field, Austin Clarkson. In right field, Bradley Atkins. At first base is Brock Kitchen. Wireman is at third base. Behind the plate catching is Logan Bays. And on the mound pitching is Matthew Boggs. Had a... Complete game against Wheelersburg's JV last Tuesday. Beginning a varsity start here tonight against Lawrence County. He will face Blue Fletcher, Brayden Maynard, and Abner Collinsworth here in the first inning. Leading off for Lawrence County in the bottom half of the first inning, the designated hitter, number 13, Blue Fletcher. Blue Fletcher, the DH, will lead things off. DHing for the third baseman. Jake Deerfield, first pitch goes right back to Boggs. He drops it, picks it up, can't make the throw. Went right back to him, a smash up the middle, and he couldn't get it. Now batting, the left fielder, number 12, Braden Maynard. That'll yeah, bring up the left fielder, Braden Maynard. Not see how they ruled on that. But smash right back to him, went off of his glove and back behind the mound before he could retrieve it. Had no chance of getting him at first base. Fletcher a threat to steal. First pitch swung on, grounded in the left field for a base hit.
So runners at first and second with nobody out for Lawrence County here in the bottom of the now first. The shortstop, number five, Abner Collinsworth. So they're going to call that first one an E1. Maynard is a single to left. Puts runners at first and second, brings up the shortstop, Abner Collinsworth, right-handed hitter. Kitchen in on the grass at first in case of a bunt. Weirman, maybe a step in front of the bag. First pitch is outside, ball one. Runners take their lead at first and second. Boggs comes set. And the pitch, swing and a miss. One and one. Pass along a couple other scores for you in a moment. Boggs checks the runners and a one one pitch. Swung on, popped up right field. On the fly out to right field. Coming to the plate, the first baseman. Number eight, Bryce Blevins. That'll bring up Bryce Blevins, the first baseman, with runners on at the corners. One out. Bay's giving the signal about where the ball's going if the runner at first goes. Boggs checks the runner over at first. He'll come to the plate, misses upstairs, ball one. Going to check of the runner at first and third. Boggs comes set, runner going, swung on, ground ball in the left field, base hit. Runner will make the turn and head for third, and here comes the throw, and he's safe. So an RBI single by Blevins. And it's a one-nothing one ball game. The right fielder, number nine, Ethan Witt. Still with runners at first and third, and it brings up the right fielder, Ethan Witt. Boggs on the rubber, Witt steps in. Boggs comes to the plate, lined again into left field. Another base hit and it's two nothing. Everything is right up at letter high and they're just pounding it to left field. Two nothing ball game. Now batting the pitcher, number 11, Will Lafferty. Three hits, all three of them to left field. Brings up the pitcher, Will Lafferty. Runners at first and second. One out. Boggs comes set. And the first pitch is upstairs, ball one. Want to know the count to Lafferty. Runners at first and second, one out. Two runs already in here in the bottom of the first. Squares to bunt, bunts it. Pitcher has it. Going to have to hurry. If he gets him, he's not going to get him. Executed well. And that loads him up. Coming to the plate, the catcher, number 10, Mason Preston. So the catcher, Mason Preston, comes up to the plate with the bases loaded and one out. And we'll have... 
Courtesy runner for the pitcher. Courtesy running for the pitcher, number seven, Talon Pollock. Talon Pollock, the courtesy runner. First pitch is a called strike. Outside part of the plate. 0-1. To Preston. Bases loaded. One out. Two runs already in. Infield in. And time called. Boggs will work from the stretch with the bases loaded, the infield in, trying to get the runner at the plate. Misses outside with this one, one and one. An error, a single, a sacrifice fly, and then single, single, bunt single. All the singles to left field, except for the bunt single, of course. 1-1, one, one. that's a strike, pretty pitch. Change it, floated right over the plate, one and two. Jacob Fletcher, the second baseman on deck. Boggs comes set. 1-2 two pitch, upstairs, two and two. Two balls and two strikes to Preston. One out, bases loaded. Again, Boggs comes set. 2-2 two -two pitch, swung on, popped up. Short center field, and I don't know if he's going to get there. He does, and they won't be able to tag. Short center field. And a good job by Clarkson to get there. Two down. And that brings up Coming Jacob plate, the Fletcher, the Number second three, baseman. Jacob As Boggs tries to get out of a tough, tough jam here in the first inning. He's already given up two and would like to escape with no more. Two down now. Infield back in regular position. Boggs is first pitch misses outside ball one. One ball, no strikes to the second baseman Fletcher. Bases loaded, two down. 1-0 pitch, swung on, fly ball, right field, right fielder going back, 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 and reaches up and makes the catch. Bradley Atkins with a nice catch out there in right center field. And Green of County gets out of the inning with no other dam damage being done. As Lawrence County comes up with two runs on four hits. One Green of County air and three left on base. We've completed one. It's Lawrence County two, Green of County nothing here on the Cool Hits Sports Network. I can't believe the house is ours. Finally, freedom. Today's the day, my own business. These are the moments you'll remember forever when a bank becomes more than a checking account or loan. At People's Bank, our core difference is providing you peace of mind and confidence in your financial life. By asking the right questions and working with you, we earn your business. Together, we're building financial success one special moment at a time. People's Bank, working together, building success. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. 
If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, then you're looking for Stultz Pharmacy. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has four prescriptions. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup and Wheelersburg. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. Top of the second inning here at Lawrence County, 2-0. Bulldogs lead the Musketeers. For Greenup County, it'll be Kitchen, Tool, and Bays due up to face Will Lafferty. Leading off for Greenup County in the top half of the second inning. Brock Kitchen steps up to the plate, hitting 439 on the season. 300 down the lines here at Lawrence County. 350 to the left field power alley. 330 to the right field power alley. And 365 straight away center field. And the first pitch misses low, ball one. Good pitch, just dropped out of the strike zone. One zero pitch, low ball two. Bottom of the second, Raceland leading Ashland three to one. Top of the second, Johnson Central leading Boyd County four to nothing. Pitch swung on, little fly ball out into left center field. That might fall for a base hit, and it will. In no man's land, and Kitchen has a hit. Second of the ball game for Greenup County. Leadoff man on base. Coming to the plate, the designated hitter. That'll bring up the DH, Dakota Tool. Dakota Tool. Hitting 175 on the year. Lafferty comes to the plate, ground ball, hit towards second. Only one play, and that is to first, as the second baseman had to go towards first to retrieve that ground ball. So gets the runner over on the ground ball on the four to three put out. Coming to the plate, the catcher. Brings up the catcher, Logan Bays. Logan Bays. Hitting 232. Kitchen on down at second base. Lafferty comes set, checks him. And the pitch, she squares to bunt and bunts it foul. Bay steps back in after getting some instructions from Coach Logan down at third. Kitchen takes his lead at second. And the pitch is in the dirt. Kitchen is heading to third. Here's the throw. Not in time. Way out in front of the bag was the third baseman. No way he could make the tag as Kitchen sliding to the back side of the bag. So fly ball to the outfield could bring home a run now with one out. Runner at third. Pitch, oh, pretty pitch, called strike. Keep working, Levin. One ball, two strikes to Bays. Boggs, the pitcher on deck. Lafferty ready in the pitch. Strike three called, same pitch. Caught looking, same exact pitch. Second strikeout. Got two strikes, that pitch coming in there. You've got to swing. Matthew Boggs. Matthew Boggs comes up, hitting 264 on the year. Kitchen takes a lead at third base. Lafferty checks him. And the first pitch is swung on and popped up. 
catcher in front of home plate makes the catch. And County Greenup County no comes up with no runs on eight. one hit. County zero, Lawrence County two. No errors. And one man left on the base. We go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's Lawrence County two, Greenup County nothing on the Cool Hit Sports Network. When you shop and invest locally, you put in motion a sequence of actions which multiplies the money that is available in our area to create jobs and provide emergency services, police, and fire protection, as well as improving the quality of education in our local schools. Shop and invest locally whenever you can. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC, we are the home office. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way. In Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location, now open Tres Hermanos Nunez. What are the keys to better health care? At SOMC, we start by putting it right at your fingertips. Now you can have a virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center, very good things are happening here. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members' Choice Credit Union. Members' Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Back here in Lawrence County as we go to the bottom half of inning number two. Lawrence County on top 2 nothing. It'll be 9-1-2 and two to face Matthew Boggs. Nick Collinsworth, the center fielder, will lead things off. First pitch is swung on, foul back to the net. Oh, and one. Boggs ready, winds, and the 0 1 delivery. Swung on, grounded, foul down the third baseline. Count 0 and 2. A little bit of a breeze picks up now, blowing straight out to center field. Pitch just misses, gets to the backstop. 1 and 2. Boggs ready in a 1-2 pitch, swung on, fly ball. Center field, left center field, and nobody's going to get there. And that'll be a stand-up double for Nick Collinsworth. So he hit that one into the gap in left center field. Now batting the designated hitter, number 13. Hit number Blue. five of the ball game. Everything's been hit to left field. Brings up Blue Fletcher, reached on an air on the pitcher and scored in the first inning. Leadoff man on base here. In the second inning for Lawrence County. And Boggs taking too much time. Fletcher's going to step out.
Throw back, runner back, easily. Boggs again checks the runner at second base. He'll come to the plate, swung on, and foul back to the netting. 0-1. One pitch, misses, one and one. One ball, one strike to the leadoff hitter, Blue Fletcher, with a runner down at second base and nobody out for Lawrence County here in the bottom of the second. They lead it two to nothing. Here's the pitch. That's a called strike on the inside corner, one and two. Pitch misses outside. Two and two. Again, the Collinsworth takes a lead down at second base. And they'll throw back again. And he's back. Boggs will check him again. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Swung on right back to the pitcher. This time he knocks it down, picks it up, throws to first, and got him. Runner moves over to third. Coming to the plate, the left fielder, number 12, Braden Maynard. Last time we were back to the pitcher, came off of him, went behind him, he couldn't throw him out. In front of him this time, ran it down and got the throw. Brings up Braden Maynard. Singled and scored in the first inning. First pitch, a little bit upstairs. Took something off of it, brought it right over the plate, but it stayed upstairs. One and to count. Collinsworth down at third. Boggs checks him. Here's the pitch popped up. That'll drift out of play back behind the plate. Count one and one. Boggs ready and a 1-1. One, one. Swung on, and that's going to be lined to right field for a base hit, and that'll score a run. First time they've went the opposite direction on a base hit. Coming to the plate, the shortstop, number five, Abner Collinsworth. That'll make it a 3 nothing ball game. Bring up Abner Collinsworth, who had a sacrifice fly RBI. Moved a runner over to third base, who eventually would get stranded there. Steps out. Collinsworth steps back in. Check of Maynard over at first. He's going. Here's the pitch. Swung on and grounded past Wireman into left field. Runner coming to third, and he is safe. That was a smash right at Wireman at third and went right past him. Coming to the plate, the first Probably a base hit. Number eight. Bryce Blevins. Now a 4-0 ball game. Oh, excuse me, runner did not come in.
So you got runners at first and third. Brings up Bryce Blevins who had an RBI single in the first. Huge gap in right center field. Pitches outside, ball one. One out, runners at the corners. One run in in the inning to make it a three nothing ball game. Bog steps off the rubber. Pitch. Misses outside, 2 0. Two-o pitch runner going grounded foul down the third base line. Two and one. Levins has the sign from Coach Feltner. Steps back in. Boggs checks the runner at first and third. He'll throw over to first and he throws it away. Run will score and the other runner will go to second and head to third as in no man's land. And they'll have a runner at third. And it's now a four nothing ball game on the wild pitch or the error if you will over to first. So that will go as an error, Greg Logan Coming out, and I think that's going to be it for Boggs. As you now have one out, runner at third, two runs in in this inning. To make it a 4 nothing ball game, and Cohen Underwood's going to come in to pitch. We'll come back. Tell you about it in a moment here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, then you're looking for Stultz Pharmacy. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care. 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery and drive through service for prescriptions. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup and Wheelersburg. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. My truck and I work all day long, so the truck has to be tough. But I want my truck loan easy going, and that's what I get at my bank. Flexible terms, great rates. My truck loan works for me, just like my truck. For great rates on loans for your next truck or car, see the good folks at First and People's Bank, the home office, member equal housing lender, FDIC. You've thought for a long time about keeping your firearms and valuables safe and out of harm's way. Order Sporting Goods has the area's greatest selection of Liberty safes and a wide range of sizes, styles, and colors. And Borders also has the Tri-State's best and most complete selection of firearms. Prices in the Tri-State are at Borders Sporting Goods, Route 60 West in Ashland, where your money will be well spent. Cohen Underwood comes in to pitch, and he inherits a 2-1 count. Runner at third and one out, and the pitch is to the backstop, and the runner's coming home, and he will be safe. So the very first pitch from Underwood's a wild pitch, which allows the runner to come in. Hits, no walks, no strikeouts. Bases are empty with one out, three and one to count to Blevins. And the pitch is outside again, who walked him. Coming to the plate, the right fielder, number nine, Ethan Witt. That'll bring up 
Ethan Witt, who had an RBI single in the first inning. Underwood looks over at first base and comes to the plate, and this one is popped up. Infield, Kitchen calling for it. Makes the play right beside the bag, and there's two down. Now batting the pitcher, number 11, Will Lafferty. That'll bring up Will Lafferty, who had a bunt single in the first inning, one for one. Runner first, two down. Pitch, misses inside, ball one. Underwood checks the runner over at first base. He'll come to the plate. Strike called one and one. Breeze picks up every now and then, and then it gets real still again and humid. Again, check of the runner. He's going. Here's the pitch. Fly ball right field. Atkins camps under, makes the catch that will end the inning. Lawrence but Lawrence County, County comes up with three the runs and the score now, on three County hits. County, one Greenup County error and one left on base. We go now to the top of the third inning. Lawrence County five, Greenup County nothing here on the Cool Hits Sports Network. What are the keys to better health care? At SOMC, we start by putting it right at your fingertips. Now you can have a virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center, very good things are happening here. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Welcome back here to Lawrence County High School as we go to the top of the third inning through two. Greenup County, no runs, two hits, two errors, two left on base. Lawrence County, five runs on seven hits, no errors, and four left on base. Lafferty finishes up his warm-up tosses. Bottom of the third, Johnson Central leading Boyd County 5-1. to one. Top of the third, Raceland leading Ashland 5-1. to one. Leading off for Greenup County in the top half of the third inning, the shortstop, number 11, Eli Hankins. Hankins will lead things off and then back to the top of the order. And the first pitch is called strike. Hankins hitting 265. Pitch misses in the dirt. One and one to count. One one pitch, ground ball hit towards short. Shortstop has it, comes up, long throw. Nope, pulled him off the bag, didn't get it. Hankins gets there, beats it. That'll go as an E6, I'm sure.
pitch is in the dirt. Good stop by the catcher, keep it in front of him. Hankins takes his lead at first. Lafferty checks him. Comes to the plate upstairs, 2-0. Pitch, misses low, 3-0. Good pitch right down the heart of the plate. Tan low, maybe. Lafferty ready in the pitch. Strike called on the outside part of the plate. 3-1. Hankins takes a lead down at first base. Three one pitches upstairs. He walked him. First walk given up by Lafferty. Puts two on with nobody out and brings up Austin Clarkson. Grounded out to the pitcher. His first time up. Going to go down and talk to Coach Greg Logan. Clarkson. Needs him to bunt the runners over, I'm sure, is what he's trying to talk to him about. Wireman on deck, Clarkson at the plate with runners at first and second. Nobody out here in the top of the third for Greenup, down 5 nothing. First baseman in on the grass. Pitch squares to bunt, bunts it down the third baseline. Good bunt, throw, didn't get him, pulled him off the bag. So he's safe, everybody is. First baseman, second baseman coming to cover because the first baseman was charging, even though the bunt went down the third baseline, which is where it had to be, so that the third baseman had no place to go to but first, the but the second baseman, baseman couldn't get there in time to cover. Carson, so that'll go as a bunt single and load him up. So an air on the shortstop, a walk, and a bunt single, and they're loaded with nobody out for Carson Weirman, who singled the center field. His first time up. Lafferty ready, first pitch. Strike on the outside part of the plate, 0-1. Bases loaded, nobody out. Wireman 0 and 1. Lafferty from the stretch comes set. And the 0 1 pitch is upstairs 1 and 1. Runners take their lead. Lafferty comes set. 1-1 one, one pitch. Upstairs, 2-1. and one. Hankins down at third base. Atkins down at second base. Clarkson at first base with nobody out. And to count two balls and one strike to Carson Weirman. Lafferty going to step off the rope. Clevenger on deck. Pitch. Strike called. Check swing. It looked a little low.
two and two to count. Lafferty comes set. And the 2-2 pitch to Wireman. Strike three called, and that one was outside. But he's going to call that if it was close because Coach Logan argued with him. That was going to get called no matter what. Left fielder, number 25. Second strikeout. That was anywhere close. That was going to be a strike. For Clevenger, a strikeout victim in the first. First pitch, strike called. Good pitch. So it took something off of that one, brought it right over the heart of the plate. Lafferty ready. A one pitch. Strike two. Again, same pitch, exactly the same pitch. Beautiful pitch. Letter high over the heart of the plate. You got to swing. 0-2. Working, Will. Come on, Will. Pitch swung on, and that one is hit hard down the left field line, but foul. Oh and two, upstairs one and two. Lafferty comes set. One two pitch, swung on little blooper at might fall. And it will for a base hit. And everybody had to wait to see, and one run scores. So they're still loaded up with the RBI single by Clevenger. Now that is the first baseman, number seven. Graham kind of gets on the scoreboard to make it a 5-1 ball game. Base is still loaded with one out and brings up Brock Kitchen, singled to left center field in the second inning, one for one. First pitch, low and away, ball one. Again, Lafferty comes set. And the pitch swung on, fly ball, left field. Left fielder going back, going back. Makes the catch. That'll score a run as they send the runner from third, and Atkins comes in to make it a 5 2 ball game on the sacrifice fly RBI. Now batting, the designated hitter, number 54, Dakota Tool. So runners at first and second with two down, and it brings up Dakota Tool. Grounded out to second his first time up 0 for 1. First pitch, strike called, beautiful. That little slow curveball working well. 0-1. A one pitch, misses. One and one. 
Clarkson down at second base. Clevenger on at first, two down. One more pitch, swung on, foul. One and two. Bay's on deck if Tool can get aboard. Two down. Lafferty ready, comes set. One-two pitch, runners going, swung on and fouled off of the catcher's hand. Runners head back. Catcher's okay, back behind the plate. We're ready to go. Tool steps back in, one ball, two strikes. Lafferty comes set. One-two pitch. Inside and high, two and two. Two balls and two strikes to Tool with runners at first and second and two down. Here in the top of the third where Greenup has put two across to cut the lead to 5-2. And the 2-2 pitch is swung on and fouled back this way again. And the count stays 2-2. Two and two. Lafferty again looks in, has the sign, checks the runner back at second base. 2-2 pitch, swing and a miss, struck him out. And that is strikeout number four in the ball game. Greenup County in the third comes up with two runs on two hits. One Lawrence County error and two left on base. We go to the bottom of the third. Lawrence County 5, Greenup County 2 on the Cool Hits Sports Network. Stop by any of the four convenient locations in Monroe Collision for an insurance estimate after an accident and let them explain how you can get back into your vehicle sooner. Owner Kevin Monroe will discuss your options in their state-of-the-art facilities. Monroe's repairs are backed by a lifetime warranty. You'll drive away protected and happy. Ask about their free loaner car. For the best in repair, see the people who care in Portsmouth, Jackson, Chillicothe, or Ashland. Monroe's frame and collision, our work with 48,000 square feet of showroom, Manning Furniture is filled with unbelievable savings with sofas as low as $299 and up. Shop from home. Go online to manningfurnitureky.com. Look under brands. Call Manning for pricing. Place special orders through Manning and get 10% off. Voted best store to buy furniture. Manning Furniture is open. Third inning here at Lawrence County High School. 5-2, Lawrence County with the lead. Going Underwood begins his first full inning of work. As Matthew Boggs went one and a third, gave up the five runs, seven hits. Underwood came in, walked the batter, and then got the next two. It'll be seven, eight, nine due up here in the third inning for Lawrence County. Preston, Fletcher, and Collinsworth. Lawrence County in the bottom half of the third inning. The catcher, number 10, Mason. Mason Preston, Preston will lead things off. Flew out to center field in the first inning, 0 for 1. Greenup County back in action Thursday night. Last game of the regular season at East Carter. 
6 o'clock start, 5.50 pregame on the Cool Hit Sports Network. First pitch, strike called, letter high. Musketeers then off until Monday Memorial Day when they play at 2 o'clock in the district tournament at Raceland. They'll play Russell. Pitch upstairs, 1-1. One and one. Raceland and Litch popped him up center field. Clarkson has a beat on it, makes the catch, and there's one away. Coming to the plate, the second baseman, number three, Jacob Fletcher. That'll bring up Jacob Fletcher, who flew out to right center field on a nice catch made by Bradley Atkins on the dead run. First pitch is inside and high, ball one. So that will be the 63rd district tournament on Memorial Day at 11, 2, and 7. You can hear all three games here on the Cool Hits Sports Network along with My Town TV. Fly ball right field, and that is foul. Nobody could get there. Atkins, Gibson, and Kitchen. First, second, and right field giving chase. 64th District Tournament starts Saturday. It will pit Boyd County and Rose Hill at 4 and Ashland and Fairview at 6.30 in their championship game Monday night at all those games at Boyd County. Here's a high chopper to the shortstop, has it long throw, and he threw it away. Bays will back it up, but not in time, and they'll get to second base. So Hankins, who had to hurry, just threw it wild. Air on the shortstop. Now That'll bring up fielder, center one, fielder Nick, Nick Collinsworth, who doubled the left center field and scored in the second inning. Runner in scoring position down at second with one out. And the 16th region tournament played at Ashland We'll start on Saturday, June 5th with four games. Squares to bunt, and Wireman fields it, throws, and throws it away. One run will score. Runner heads to second. He's going to go to third, and they'll probably, nope, they won't send him. Well, the first thing Carson should have done was let the bunt go foul. He didn't even give it a shot to see if it was going to go foul. He played it and then tried to rush the throw and threw it way into right field. And there's a lot of foul territory here at Lawrence County. So that will be an E5, which will allow the run to score and the runner to get all the way to third. And it brings up Blue Fletcher and makes it a 6-2 to two ball game. And Greg Logan probably going to go out, talk to his infield, because you had routine ground ball to short, which ends up putting a man on second base, and you had a bunt that was fielded that probably maybe would have went foul if you let it go. And then the second thing, no use to rush and throw it that low at first base. If you know here, if you misplay it at third and first, then you got runners can run all day because foul territory is so big. So you've given up a run without a hit, two errors, and you've got a runner at third with only one out. And it's now a 6-3 ball game and chance to get another one down at third base. Conversation was with the infield. 
conversation then with Carson Wireman at the end. And that brings up the top of the order, Blue Fletcher, who has reached on an air on the pitcher and has grounded out to the pitcher. And the first pitch is upstairs, ball one. Regional tournament, 16th region played at Ashland, starts on Saturday, June 5th, 11 for the first game. Pitch upstairs, ball two. Two thirty for the second game. Misses outside, three and zero, or I should say, one thirty is what it's scheduled for. Four o'clock and then six thirty. Those games will probably start later than that. But four games on the 5th and then Monday the 7th, the semifinals, and Tuesday the 8th, the championship game. There's ball four. Pretty good pitch on the outside part of the plate. It's called a strike against Wireman, but not a strike in this situation. Coming to the plate, so the four field, pitches, Fletcher 12, walks. Braden, Second walk given up by Underwood. And it brings up Brayden Maynard, who has singled and scored and had an RBI single and scored. So he's two for two with an RBI and two runs scored. First pitch is outside, ball one. Got the first man to fly out. Air on the shortstop, air on the third baseman, which allowed a run to score. Now a walk puts runners at first and third. Pitches outside and high, 2 0. Now Underwood has lost his control. Johnson Central leading Boyd County in the bottom of the fourth, 6 1. Raceland now leading Ashland in the top of the fourth, 13 1. Throw over to first, and again, a low throw, but. Kitchen digs it out. Pitch is inside and high. Three and oh. Strike called on the outside part of the plate, three and one. Three one pitch, strike two, runner going. Safe at second. Ready to count now, three and two. Three two pitch swung on ground ball foul down the first baseline. Nice stab by the first base coach for Lawrence County. Count stays three and two to Maynard. Underwood ready, comes set. And the pitch swung on, and that is lined into right center field. That's in the gap. That's going to score two. Maynard will make the turn. That's all the way to the wall. He's going to head to third with a triple. So a two-run triple. 
to right center field, brings home two more. And puts a runner at third. Coming to the plate, the shortstop, number five, Abner Collinsworth. And now makes it an eight to two. Brings up Abner Collinsworth, who has a sacrifice flower B.I., and he singled to left field and scored. So officially one for one, and he swings and misses at the first one. Still just one out runner at third base. Outside and high, one and one. Underwood has the sign, sets, and the pitch swung on, fouled off to the right, now to play. One and two. One, two pitch, swung on, fouled again off to the right, now to play. Count stays one and two on Abner Collinsworth with Bryce Blevins on deck. One, two pitch, misses outside, two and two. Two pitch in the dirt. Gets away from Bays, but not very far. Runner holds at third. Three balls and two strikes now to Collinsworth. One out runner at third. Pitch, swing, and a miss, but that gets by the catcher, and he's going to be safe. They're wanting a foul ball, thought it was a foul ball. He's going to say it hit him, and I think the umpire's right. I think he swung and missed, and it actually hit him. But it is, a, it is an out for a strikeout, and the catcher missed the ball, so he's going to be safe. I think that's the correct call. I think he's safe at first base. Nope, they're going to say he's out because the ball hit him. And that's why it got away. It became a dead ball after he swung and missed. It hit him and became a dead ball at that point. So it's a strikeout. So there's two down. So umpire still talking it over with Coach Fletcher. Now batting the first baseman, number eight, Bryce Blevins. But it will be an out, a strikeout, two down. So runner still at third base, two down. First strikeout of the ball game for Underwood. And that'll bring up Levins, who has an RBI single and walked. And the first pitch is outside ball one. One and no. One no pitch, swung on. Ground ball up the middle into center field for a base hit. 
RBI single for Blevins. And that is fourth run of the inning. To make it a nine to two ball game. And it brings up Ethan Witt, who has an RBI single and popped up to first. Witt steps up. Check of the runner at first base by Underwood. And the pitch is swung on and popped up foul. And that's going to drift out of play. 0-1-1. Got the first out, then an error on the shortstop, error on the third baseman, which allowed a run to score, a walk, a two-run triple, a strikeout, and an RBI single. Pitch swung on, grounded hard to short, takes a bad hop over top of his head into left field. Runner will move on to third, and runners will be at the corners. Well, he backed up trying to wait on the big hop, and when he backed up, it took a big hop right over his head. Coming to the plate, the pitcher, number 11, Will Lafferty. Third error of the inning. Fifth error of the ball game. And it brings up Will Lafferty, who has a bunt single and flew out to right field, and now you got runners at the corners with two down. Four runs already in in the inning. And Lafferty, the ninth batter to hit. First pitch popped up. Short center field, second baseman Gibson goes back into the grass and makes the play for the third out. But Lawrence County scores three runs in the four runs the come in. And the score now, Greenham County and two, Lawrence County eight. Well, they actually scored four runs. And they got two hits. And Greenup County committed three errors. And one left on base. Your score after three is Lawrence County nine, Greenup County two on the Cool Hits Sports Network. You've thought for a long time about keeping your firearms and valuables safe and out of harm's way. Order Sporting Goods has the area's greatest selection of Liberty safes and a wide range of sizes, styles, and colors. And Borders also has the Tri-State's best and most complete selection of firearms, hunting supplies, fishing supplies, archery supplies, knives, camo, and boots. From the smallest fishing hook to the largest Liberty safe, the best brands, the best selection, and the best prices in the Tri-State are at Borders Sporting Goods. Route 60 West in Ashland where your money will be well spent. I can't believe the house is ours. Finally, freedom. Today's the day, my own business. These are the moments you'll remember forever when a bank becomes more than a checking account or loan. At People's Bank, our core difference is providing you peace of mind and confidence in your financial life. By asking the right questions and working with you, we earn your business. Together, we're building financial success one special moment at a time. People's Bank, working together, building success. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Letter. Back here at Lawrence County, we go to the top of the fourth inning. And it is a 9-2 ball game. It's the correct score, 9-2, not 8. Off for Greenham County in the top half of the fourth. The catcher, number 14, Logan Bays. It'll be Logan Bays, Matthew Boggs, and Eli Hankins in the fourth. A couple of other scores. Raceland leading Ashland 13-2, bottom of the fourth. Johnson Central leading Boyd County 6-4 in the top of the fifth as Boyd County mounting a comeback. Bays a strikeout victim in the second. Pitch swung on, popped up. Foul back behind the plate. One pitch, missed. 
Don't have the scoreboard working right now. Pitch swung on, popped up center field. Center fielder coming in and makes the catch, sure swung away. Now batting the pitcher, number four, Cohen Underwood. That'll bring up Underwood, his first appearance since coming into the game. Cohen hitting 299 on the year. Pitch comes all the way to the backstop. One bounce right back to the catcher. Now they got the score right. Two, three, and four. That's what Lawrence County has scored. Greenup County two in the third. It's a 9-2 ball game. Pitch almost hitting. To the backstop. Pitch to Underwood, swung on, grounded, foul down the third baseline. One ball, two strikes. One out, nobody on. Top of the fourth inning, 9-2 Lawrence. Lafferty ready, and the pitch outside. Two and two. Two and one, I believe. Swung on, grounded foul. Third baseline. Count now two and two. Lafferty ready, 2-2 pitch. Popped him up back behind the plate. As Underwood hangs tough, battling Lafferty. Lafferty ready, and the 2-2. Swung on, lined in the left field for a base hit. Hit number five of the ball game for Greenup County. And it brings up Elijah Hankins. Reach on an error and scored in the third inning. One out, one on. First pitch, misses outside and low, ball one. Top of the order, Atkins waiting on deck. Pitch almost hitting. Two and oh. Pitch swung on, and that's going to be a little blooper. It's going to fall into center field for a base hit. So back-to-back -back hits by Underwood and Hankins. And it brings up Bradley Atkins, who has popped up to second, walked and scored. Officially 0 for 1.
Lafferty comes set, checks the runner back at second base. And here comes the pitch that's in the dirt, gets away from the catcher over towards the third base dugout. And they should each get another base. Yeah, a run should come in because it goes into the dugout. So they were going, they get the base because of the wild pitch, and they get the other base because it goes into the dugout. So Underwood comes in to score the third run. And Hankins goes to third base. Pitching coach going to come out and talk to Lafferty. He got Bays to fly out, then Boggs singled, Hankins singled, then a wild pitch that goes to the dugout. Brings home a run and puts a runner at third. Check our scoreboard, see, got any updates. Raceland leading Ashland in the top of the fifth, 15 to two. And also in the top of the fifth, Johnson Central leading Boyd, six to four. Meeting breaks up. One and oh to Atkins. Pitch, right called inside corner, good pitch. One and one. Lafferty checks the runner at third and the one one pitch. Almost hit him. Two and one. Atkins bailing out, that ball coming at his head. 2-1 pitch, swung on, ground ball, third, by the third baseman, into left field. Runner scores, Atkins ends up at first base. Now back that will be an E5. Austin Clarkson. Make it a nine to four ball game. And bring up Austin Clarkson who has grounded out to the pitcher and had a bunt single. One for two. Pitch, strike called, breaking ball. Wireman on deck. Atkins on down at first base. Lafferty comes set. He'll come to the plate, swung on, grounded foul down the third baseline. So quickly ahead of Clarkson 0-2. One out, two runs in, runner at first for Greenup County. Lafferty ready, here's the pitch way outside. One and two. Lafferty ready, one, two. Swung on, ground to the third. Third baseman has it, he'll throw to second. For one, back to first, not in time. So Clarkson will be on with a fielder's choice on the five to four put out. Now batting the third baseman, number three, Carson Wireman. Brings up Carson Wireman, single to center field and struck out one for two.
First pitch in the dirt. Good job by the catcher to keep that in front of him. One and zero. Oh. Sun has gone down, at least where it was beating on us. Still over the field for the most part. Home plate almost covered by shadows now. Time called by Wireman. Home plate and some of left field. Rest still has some sun. Clarkson at first base. Lafferty will check him. Comes to Wireman upstairs, 2-0. Two down, two runs in, Clarkson down at first. Two zero pitch, swung on and that one is hit hard down the left field line but foul. Two and one. Raceland has defeated Ashland 15 to three and five. Lafferty ready, two one pitch, swung on foul back to the screen. Count two and two to Wireman. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Clarkson down at first base. Two two pitch swung on again hit foul down the left field line. It's that inside pitch Wireman trying to pull it. Count stays two and two. Again, Lafferty ready, checks Clarkson over at first base. Two, two pitch upstairs, three and two. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Clarkson will be on the move. Pitch is in the dirt. Good job by the catcher to keep that one in front of him. And Wireman walks. And that is the second walk given I'm up. Batting the left fielder, number 25, Hunter Clevenger. By Laff Lafferty. And it brings up Hunter Clevenger, a strikeout victim of the first and had an RBI single to center field in the third. One for two. As runners at first and second with two down. First pitch swung on and lined in the left field for a base hit. Runner will have to hold at third. One hopper. So base is loaded and that is third hit of the inning. So they're loaded up. Now batting the first baseman, number seven, Brock Kitchen. Clevenger with three hits last night against Painesville, two tonight against Lawrence. And Kitchen, single to left center field, sacrifice fly RBI. One for one officially. Two down, bases loaded. Two runs in, would love to get a couple of more here. Lafferty will work from the stretch with the bases loaded. And the first pitch is a called strike on the inside corner, good pitch. Off speed, brought it right into the inside corner against the left-handed hitting kitchen. Lafferty ready. 
And the 0-1. Swung on, ground ball in the left field, base hit. That'll score one. They'll send the runner, he'll score because the third, the left fielder, and the runner goes in to third base and he's safe. As Clevenger goes diving head first in, there's a little collision there, but he's safe. And Kitchen ends up down at second base on the throw to third. I'll check Clevenger, make sure he's okay, but that will go as a two-run single by Kitchen, his second hit of the ball game. He'll move to second base on the throw to third. They go over to make sure Clevenger's okay, and I think he is. Now talking to Dakota Tool, who is coming up to bat, and a pitching change for Lawrence County. We'll come back and tell you about it in just a moment here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Now pitching number two, field. My truck and I work all day long, so the truck has to be tough. But I want my truck loan easy going, and that's what I get at my bank. Flexible terms, great rates. My truck loan works for me, just like my truck. For great rates on loans for your next truck or car, see the good folks at First and People's Bank, the home office, member equal housing lender, FDIC. You've thought for a long time about keeping your firearms and valuables safe and out of harm's way. Order Sporting Goods has the area's greatest selection of Liberty safes and a wide range of sizes, styles, and colors. And Borders also has the Tri-State's best and most complete selection of firearms, hunting supplies, fishing supplies, archery supplies, knives, camo, and boots. From the small fishing hook to the largest Liberty safe. The best brands, the best selection, and the best prices in the tri-state are at Border Sporting Goods. Route 60 West in Ashland, where your money will be well spent. All right, a pitching change for Lawrence County. As Jake Deerfield will come in to pitch. Finishing up his warm-up tosses, so Lafferty goes three and two-thirds. He has given up six runs, responsible for men on base. Coming to the plate, the designated hitter, number 54, Dakota Toole. Gave up eight hits, walked two, struck out four. Dakota Tool steps up. The first to face Deerfield on the first pitch is low, ball one. Tool grounded out to second and struck out 0 for 2. Becomes the ninth batter to bat in this inning. Pitch outside, 2 and 0. Runners at second and third, two down. Four runs in to make it a 9-6 ball game. Swung on, fly ball, short left field. That's probably, nope, left fielder comes in, has room, makes a catch. That'll end the inning, but Greenham County Green comes County up with four, four runs. runs. The top of the they do it and the score now. on County six, Lawrence County four nine. hits. One Lawrence County error and two left on base. We go to the bottom of the fourth. It is Lawrence County nine, Greenup County six on the Cool Hits Sports Network. Experience the plus side of healthcare at Primary Plus. Primary Plus has seven locations throughout the region, including offices in Ashland, South Shore, Vansburg, Tolesboro, and Flemingsburg. 
offering complete care for the entire family, including primary care, pediatrics, women's health, dental, and on-site pharmacies, plus the convenience of evening hours, affordable pricing, and a patient-centered medical team. Primary Plus is always welcoming new patients. Learn more at primaryplus.net. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members' Choice Credit Union. Members' Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members' Choice Credit Union today. Members' Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. A lot of folks are paying their bills online. It's safe, accurate, and very convenient. If you would like to know more about banking online, stop by the bank and we can get you going. Cutting edge technology with a first name, friendly hometown personal touch. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC. We are the home office. What are the keys to better health care? At SOMC, we start by putting it right at your fingertips. Now you can have a virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center, very good things are happening here. Hey. 7-8-9 for Lawrence County here in the bottom of the fourth inning to face Cohen Underwood, and the first pitch to Mason Preston is a swing and a miss, strike one. Preston has flown out to center field both times he's been up 0 for 2. Underwood ready, and the pitch misses outside. One and one. Pitch misses outside again. Two and one. Outside, three and one. Since coming in, Underwood has walked two and struck out one. And a strike called on the outside corner. Cat goes three and two. Swing and a miss at a pitch way outside. Would have walked him. Strike out number two. Second baseman, number three, Jacob Fletcher. Brings up Jacob Fletcher, flew out to right center field, reached on an air and scored. for two officially. First pitch is lined down the left field line foul. Owen one to count to Fletcher. Swung on and lined in the left field for a base hit. Puts a runner at first base with now one out. The center fielder, number one, Nick Collinsworth. Tenth hit of the ball game for Lawrence County. And it brings up Nick Collinsworth. He doubled and scored and reached on an air and scored. One for two. Underwood ready, first pitches upstairs, ball one.
Takes the runner over at first, comes to the plate, swung on, fouled, off to the right, now to play, jammed him a little bit. One and one. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning, 9-6 Lawrence County. They put up two in the first, three in the second, four in the third. Greenup County, two in the third, four in the, in the fourth. <laughs> Upstairs, two and one. Bay start, uh, Bog started the ball game, went one in the third, gave up five runs, seven hits. Underwood came in in the second inning. Pitch, low, three and one. He has given up three hits and four runs. He has walked two and he has struck out two. Swung on and that one is hit hard down the left field line and that one is gone. Over the 300 sign in left field. Two run home run. And that makes it an 11 to six ball game. Turned on that one and a line drive shot right over the 300 sign in the corner. Down the line in left field, State Fair. That brings up Lou Fletcher. Reached on an air on the pitcher, grounded out to the pitcher and walked and scored. He scored twice. Pitch outside and low, gets away from the catcher. Count one and oh. Upstairs, two and oh. And Greg Logan going to come out and talk to Underwood as Fletcher went down to talk to Coach Feltner. And I think that's going to be it for Underwood. We're going to have a pitching change. We'll come back and tell you about it in just a moment. We're in the bottom half of the fourth inning. Lawrence County has put two across already. And the bases are empty with only one out. Pitching change will come back in just a moment here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. What are the keys to better health care? At SOMC, we start by putting it right at your fingertips. Now you can have a virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center, very good things are happening here. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg, KentuckyFarmersBank.com. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Back here in Lawrence County, yeah, we're still in the bottom of the fourth inning, 11 to six. Lawrence County with the lead and pitching change for Greenup as the eighth grader, Elijah Hankins, will come in to pitch. Boggs went an inning and a third, five runs, seven hits, no walks, no strikeouts. Underwood goes two full innings, gives up six runs, four hits, two walks, two strikeouts. And Hankins comes in with one out here in the bottom of the fourth of an 11-6 ball game. So 
he finishes up his warm-up tosses. We'll remind you, we'll take tomorrow night off, and then Thursday we'll be at East Carter. Six o'clock start. Pre-game starts around 5.50. That's the last regular season game, and then next time we'll join you will be from Raceland for the 63rd District Tournament when Greenup takes on Russell at 2 o'clock on Memorial Day. And that'll be on the Cool Hits My Town TV Sports Network. So Fletcher steps in with a count of 2-0 and oh that Hankins inherits. And the first pitch is a called strike, 2-1. and one. Hit right up the middle into center field for a base hit. Third hit of the inning. Coming to the plate, the left Twelfth fielder, hit of the ball game. 12, Braden Maynard. That brings up Braden Maynard, who has singled and scored, had an RBI single and scored, and a two-run triple and scored. Three for three. Three RBIs, three runs scored. Pretty good night. And the first pitch is a strike call. It looked like it was a little high, but we'll take it. Mayor takes a lead at first. Hankins checks him, comes to the plate, almost hit him. One and one. Hankins ready, and the pitch runner going high, and Bays can't get it out of his glove. Stolen base. Dakota Tool warming up in the bullpen for Greenup County. Pitch, low, three and one. Bay's going to go out and talk to Hankins. Three balls and one strike to Maynard. Runner at second base with one out. Underwood struck out the first battle, but then a single by Fletcher, a two-run home run, run by Collinsworth. Then blew Fletcher with a single off of Hankins who came in. And now Hankins has gone three and one to Maynard. And a three one pitch is hit to left field. Left fielder coming over, has room, makes the catch. And there'll be two down. First time they've retired Maynard tonight. Now batting the third baseman, number five, Abner Collinsworth. That'll bring up uh, Abner Collinsworth, sacrifice fly RBI, singled and scored and struck out. One for two officially. Pitch just missed. Good pitch. One and no. Hankins checks the runner back at second base. Come set. Pitch. Runner going. And again, base can't get it out of his glove to make the throw. So two down, runner at third. Strike called, makes it two and one. Sun's gone down, little breeze blowing, feels pretty good. 
Hankins ready in the 2 1 pitch is outside and low, 3 and 1. Atkins is now playing third. Wireman is playing short. Gibson is still at second. Kitchen still at first. Pitch gets away from the catcher. Ball four. Runner will go to first, and the run will score on the wild pitch. First walk given up by Hankins, and the, the third baseman, given up eight, Bryce by Greenup County pitching. Third run of the inning to make it 12-6. Two down, it brings up Bryce Blevins, an RBI single, walked in an RBI single. He is two for two with two RBIs, throw over to first runner back. Pitch is low, ball one. Got away from base, but he kept it in front of him. One and notable Blevins. Pitch swung on, grounded, foul down the third baseline. Runner will head back to first base. To count one and one. One one pitch. Popped up. Kitchen calling for it. Now Gibson, second base. Comes in and calls for it and makes the catch. Lawrence County scores three runs in the bottom half. Of but the in the fourth inning, Lawrence County comes up with three the more. They do six. it on three well. hits, no errors, and one left on base. We've completed four. And it's Lawrence County 12, Greenup County 6 here on the Cool Hits Sports Network. Experience the plus side of healthcare at Primary Plus. Primary Plus has seven locations throughout the region, including offices in Ashland, South Shore, Vansburg, Tolesboro, and Flemingsburg. Offering complete care for the entire family, including primary care, pediatrics, women's health, dental, and on-site pharmacies, plus the convenience of evening hours, affordable pricing, and a patient-centered medical team. Primary Plus is always welcome new patients. Learn more at primaryplus.net. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. A lot of folks are paying their bills online. It's safe, accurate, and very convenient. If you would like to know more about banking online, stop by the bank and we can get you going. Cutting edge technology with a first name, friendly hometown personal touch. First and People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC. We are the home office. What are the keys to better health care? At SOMC, we start by putting it right at your fingertips. Now you can have a virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center. Very good things are happening here. Go to the top of the fifth inning, and for Greenup County, it'll be 7, 8, 9, Bays, Boggs, and Hankins to face Jake Deerfield, who 
who came in relief last inning, got the final out. First pitch to base is ball one outside. Ball two outside and low. Base has struck out and flown out to center field. Deerfield ready, and the pitch swung on, lined into right field. Right fielder can't get it, gets by him. It's going to go all the way to the wall, and Bays will make the turn and head for third. Here comes the throw, and he'll be there with a stand-up triple. Right fielder coming in trying to make a short hop play and it gets by him and goes all the way to the wall. Brings up Cohen Underwood. He is one for one, singled and scored in the fourth inning. Deerfield's first pitch called strike. Pitch outside. Bays with a leadoff triple down at third base. One ball, two strikes to Underwood. Hankins on deck. Deerfield ready in the pitch, almost hit him. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Bays down at third, nobody out. Top of the fifth, 12 6 Lawrence. Pitch, swing and a miss. He struck him out. First strikeout for Deerfield and the fifth to the plate, the pitcher, for Lawrence County 11, pitching. Brings up Hankins, who has reached on an air and scored and singled and scored. One for two, but he's scored both times he's been up. And the first pitch is inside and high. Ball one. Deerfield ready, and the pitch right down the heart of the plate, one and one. Got to swing at those. Greg Logan takes off his hat and rubs his head on that one. Got to swing at those. Fastball right down the heart of the plate. One, one pitch, swung on, popped up, foul, and over towards the dugout and out of play. One and two to Hankins. Deerfield looks in. Base takes his lead at third. And the pitch swung on, popped up foul again and out of play. Hankins stays in there. Again, Deerfield comes set, checks base over third and a one-two. Low and outside, two and two. Greenup County, two and a third, four in the fourth. Lawrence has scored in every inning. Two in the first, three in the second, four in the third, three in the fourth. Here's a pitch that's a ground ball slowly towards short. Shortstop has it, throws in time. Got him. Run scores. So Hankins out six to three with an RBI. Coming to the plate. As Bays base comes in to score. Bradley Atkins. Brings up Atkins, who has popped up to second, walked and scored, and reached on an air. 
0 for 2 officially. First pitch is a swing and a miss. Breaking ball, 0 and 1. Two down, nobody on. 12-7 now. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Deerfield ahead of Atkins, 0-2. And the 0-2 delivery. Breaking ball fouled down the third baseline. Count stays 0-2. So no balls, two strikes to Atkins with two outs and nobody on here in the top of the fifth inning and the 0-2 pitch, a swung on ground to the third. Third baseman has it, comes up, throws, and that'll end the inning. Greenham County comes up with one run on one hit, no errors and nobody left on base. We go to the bottom half of inning number five, Lawrence County 12, Greenham County seven on the Cool Hit Sports Network. A lot of folks are paying their bills online. It's safe, accurate, and very convenient. If you would like to know more about banking online, stop by the bank and we can get you going. Cutting edge technology with a first name, friendly hometown personal touch. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC, we are the home office. What are the keys to better health care? At SOMC, we start by putting it right at your fingertips. Now you can have a virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center, very good things are happening here. Oh no, when that happens, bring your vehicle to Monroe Collision, where owner Kevin Monroe will discuss how best to repair your damage. Let Kevin tell you about their pre-work process and how Monroe Collision will work with your insurance company directly to get you back into your vehicle much sooner. Kevin makes it easy to do because he cares about you and will get you back on the road happy and with a lifetime warranty. Stop by their convenient locations, Sportsman, Jackson, Chillicothe, or Ashland. Monroe's frame and collision, our work says it all. With 48,000 square feet of showroom, Manning Furniture is filled with unbelievable savings with sofas as low as $299 and up. Shop from home. Go online to manningfurnitureky.com. Look under brands. Call Manning for pricing. Place special orders through Manning and get 10% off. Voted best store to buy furniture. Manning Furniture is open 10 to 6 Monday through Saturday and Sundays 1 to 4. Located at 1601 U.S. Route 60, just 10 miles west of Ashland. Call 606-928-5. Right nine, Bottom half of the fifth inning, and the new pitcher for Greenup County is Brock Kitchen will come in to pitch. He is the fourth pitcher used by Greenup County. Hankins goes two-thirds of an inning, gives up a run on a hit and a walk. And now Kitchen comes in. He will face Ethan Witt. Jake Deerfield and Mason Preston. Witt, RBI single, popped up and reached on an error, one for three. And the first pitch is a called strike from Kitchen, the lefty. Kitchen ready, and the 0-1 pitch. High one and one. One one pitch on the way to Whit. Misses inside and low, two and one. Two one pitch misses outside three and one. Go, 
Johnson Central six, Boyd County five, top of the seventh. Pitch swung on, and that ball is hit to left field, but right there is a left fielder. Clevenger, one away. Coming to the plate, the shortstop, number 11, Will Lafferty. Got Atkins at third base, Wireman at shortstop. Nope, you got Hankins at shortstop. Wireman at first base now. Gibson still at second base. Boggs is back in right field. Started out pitching, now he's in right field. Called strike to Will Lafferty, who has a bunt single, flew out to right, popped up to second, one for three. Swung on, fly ball, center field. Going back a little bit and getting a beat on it and making the catch is Clarkson two down. Coming to the plate, the catcher, number 10, Mason Preston. Brings up Mason Preston, the catcher, flew out to center field, flew out to center field and struck out. <coughs> 0 for 3. First pitch, swung on, popped up, infield. And Gibson, second base, behind second base, makes a catch. One, two, three, Lawrence quick inning. No runs in the bottom half of the field. And the fifth, and no the runs, no remains. hits. County seven, no Lawrence errors, County nobody 12. left on base. We've completed five. It is still Lawrence County 12, Greenup County 7 here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichanga, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location now open praise hermanos nunez since 1956, Sperry Auto Parts has served the Tri-State with used, late-model foreign and domestic auto parts. Sperry Auto Parts stays in touch with dealers nationwide through their hotline service for parts and late-model repairable cars, trucks, and SUVs specializing in Jeep, Chrysler, and GM. Sperry's provides a 30-day warranty on engines and transmissions. They also have a computerized inventory, making for quicker and better service. See the winning team at Sperry Auto Parts, Route 8 in South Portsmouth, Kentucky, across from the Carl Perkins Bridge. Back here at Lawrence County High School, we go to the top of the sixth inning through five. Greenup County has six runs on nine hits. They've committed five errors, and they have left six on base. Lawrence County has 12 runs on 12 hits. They've committed two errors, and they have left six on base. For Greenup County here in the sixth, it'll be Clarkson, Wireman, and Clevenger due up to face Jake Deerfield, who came in in the fourth inning. He has given up a run and a hit. Leading off for Greenup County in the top half. He has game. struck out one and center fielder, number two, Austin he has Clarkson. not walked anybody yet. Boyd County came from behind and defeated Johnson Central 7-6. to six. That's a final. After Johnson Central led 6-5, Boyd County comes back and wins at 7-6 going into the last inning. Here's a ground ball hit sharply to short. Shortstop has it, long throw, throws it away. Clarkson will head to second base where he is there standing. So an error on the shortstop. Coming to the plate, the first baseman, number three, Carson Wireman. Third air of the ball game for Lawrence County. And it brings up Carson Wireman, who was single to center, struck out and walked and scored. Wireman ready, first pitch low and away. Good job by the catcher, keep it in front of him. 
One to know the wireman. Clevenger on deck. Deerfield comes set. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Wireman swing late on that one. One and one. One one pitch upstairs two and one. Deerfield ready. Two one pitch. Oh my goodness. Two and two. That was outside. Good job by the catcher of framing that one, but that one was way outside. Pitch. Goes out in front of the plate. That's a live ball. The catcher has it, throws, pulls him off the bag. He's safe. So Greenham County will have runners at first and third. Coming to the plate, the left fielder, number 25, Hunter. That Clevenger. will go as an infield hit. And it brings up Clevenger, who has struck out, had an RBI single and to center field, and then singled the left field. Two for three in the ball game. Runners at the corners. Pitch. Strike right, called, letter high fastball. Again, runners take their lead. Pitch swung on, fouled. Out of play, 0-2. Kitchen on deck, nobody out. Clarkson reached on an air on the shortstop, and Wireman on an infield hit out in front of the plate. Pitch missed outside. Really wanted to get that one, but it was outside. Catcher tried to frame it. Pitch swung on, hit to right field. Right fielder coming in, makes the catch, and will bring it home. Nobody can advance as Clarkson can't tag. One away. Brings up Brock Kitchen. Now batting the pitcher, number seven, Brock Kitchen. Single to left center field, sacrifice fly RBI, and a two-run single to left field. He is two for two officially, three RBIs. As runners at first and third. Let's see if they send Wireman. Not going. Pitch is low. Pitch. Swung on. Ground ball. That's going to get into right field for a base hit by the right fielder again. One run in. Wireman will make the turn. He'll come. Here comes Kitchen. He's going to come home. Here he comes. And they mess up the throw, and he will score. That will go as a single to right field and an error on the right fielder but all three runs will score because it went all the way to the fence. 
And it is now a 12 to 10 ball game. Now batting the designated hitter, number 54, Dakota Tool. And it brings up Dakota Tool, who has grounded a second, struck out, flown out to left, 0 for 3. Still only one out here in the six, and he fouls it back this way. One bounce or two back to the catcher. Oh, one pitch, strike called. Oh, and two. Oh, two pitch, sort of jammed him. He goes for it, knocks it over towards first. First baseman has it, steps on the bag. Got jammed, got a piece of it, right down to the first baseman, three unassisted. Coming to the plate, the catcher, number 14, Logan Bays. Logan Bays steps up to the plate. He has struck out, flown out to center, and tripled and scored. And the first pitch just about it did hit him. I don't think Bays thought it did. He sort of looks around like what? But he goes. So Bay's hit by the pitcher. And the inning is still alive. Number 31, Matthew Boggs. Boggs hit one time and popped up to the catcher. Then Underwood batted in his spot. Now Boggs is back and he looks at ball one outside. Three runs in in the inning. Runner at first and two down. And the pitch low and outside. Great job by the catcher. Kept that one from getting to the backstop. Pitch upstairs, 3-0 to Boggs. Hankins on deck. Three O pitch right down the heart of the plate, three and one. Three one pitch. That's catcher interference. As a catcher put his glove out there, and the, he knocked the glove off of his hand, and he's probably hurt, but that is catcher interference. So Boggs will go with catcher interference to first base, and that'll put runners at first and second with two outs. Trainer will come out, check him out. And they'll have to get another catcher ready, which they are doing. And they'll have to let him take a few, I'm sure. Good student body here for Lawrence County. They probably got. Thirty-five, forty students here. Now catching for the Bulldogs, number 24, Blake Prater. So Blake Prater will come in to catch. You get a nice hand from the student body. Right 
And Hankins will come to the plate with runners at first and second. Tying run is at first base. Nearfield ready, and the first pitch is a called strike. Pitch in the dirt. Runner is going. Gets away from the catcher down towards third base. Prater chases it down. Runners at second and third. A base hit ties this ball game up. That's unbelievable. One and one to Hankins. Pitch outside, two and one. Two down. Deerfield ready. And the pitch inside and high, three and one. Top of the order, Atkins on deck. Three and one to count to Hankins. And the three one pitch is upstairs, he walked him. Now batting the third baseman, number 23, Bradley Atkins. First walk given up by Deerfield. The third walk given up by Lawrence County pitching. And coach gonna come out and talk to his pitcher. The bases are loaded. Two down, three runs in in the inning to make it a two run ball game. Greenup County, after trailing nine to two, has scored four in the fourth, one in the fifth, and three so far here in the sixth to cut it to 12 to two. And they have a chance to do a little bit more damage here with the top of the order, Atkins. But there are two outs. He's popped up to second, walked, reached on an air, and grounded out. 0 for three. Meeting breaks up, Deerfield ready, first pitch inside, ball one. Runners take their lead, they're loaded up. Pitch, oh, called strike, one and one. One one pitch in the dirt. Good job by the catcher to keep it in front of him. Two and one. Runners take their lead at first, second, and third. Two one pitch. Swung on, little blooper in the left field, base hit. One run in. They'll send the other one. Here comes the relay, not in time, we're tied. They throw back to second, they throw it in the center field. And they'll stay put. Two run single by Atkins. And the fifth run comes in, in this inning to tie, make it a 12-12 ball game. Coming to the plate, the center fielder. Third hit of the Austin inning. Clarkson. 12 hits now for Greenup County. And Clarkson, who led off the inning, 
reaching on, on an air by the shortstop, is back up again. Runners at first and second. And the pitch is inside ball one. Pitch, low, ball two. Atkins down at first base. Hankins down at second base. Two down. Five runs in in the inning. Strike call. Two and one. Deerfield comes set. 2 1 pitch. Swing and a miss. 2 and 2. Wireman on deck if Clarkson can get aboard. 2 and 2. Two outs, two on. Deerfield comes set. Runners take the lead, and that's. Time called. Pitch, little pop up, third base side, makes a catch, that'll end the inning. But Greenup County comes up with five runs in the sixth inning. They do it on three hits. County 12, Lawrence County 12 on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Hello, I'm Michael Bowling, Senior Vice President of Kentucky Farmers Bank. When you do business with Kentucky Farmers Bank, you're making an investment in your community. Your money stays local, we never sell your loan, and in turn, we invest in local families, churches, schools, and charities. We believe in our community, and that's why we are the better bank for loans. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for loans since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg, Kentucky Farmers Bank Com, member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Quality Marathon Gasoline. Great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Refresh. Refuel. What are the keys to better health care? At SOMC, we start by putting it right at your fingertips. Now you can have a virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center. Very good things are happening here. Back here at Lawrence County as we go to the bottom of the sixth inning of a 12-12 ball game. Brock Kitchen in his second inning of work and the first pitch to the backstop. Jacob Fletcher, 8-9-1, and one, due up here in the sixth for Lawrence County. Fletcher flew out to right center field, reached on an air and scored and singled and scored. He is one for three. Here's a strike on the outside corner. One and one. Kitchen ready and a one one swung on and fouled. Back towards the dugout. One and two. Upstairs and back to me. Yeah. 
two and two. Two balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss. He's got to throw it down. He's better hurry. And, oh, he hit him. And he knocks down the first baseman. That's got to be some kind of interference. So the ball comes back in. And Coach Logan's going to come and ask if he was in the line, out of the line. Coach Logan saying he was out of the baseline when he got hit. So now the first base umpire. Coming to the plate, the center fielder, number one, Nick Collinsworth. He's coming down and saying something. Now uh, the first base umpire saying something about somebody, I don't know if it's somebody in the dugout or if it's a fan or what it is, but Steve Logan, Greg Logan both now talking to the first base umpire. Greg Logan's argument was he was out of the base path. The uh, home plate umpire said no he wasn't, so that's his call. You got to live with that. The ball hit him right in the helmet and it bounced in the center field. He couldn't advance. But he also ran in to the first baseman Wireman and knocked him down. But nothing was said about that. But they did retrieve the ball. So the runner is at first base. So I don't know what all this is about. So the first base umpire and Greg Logan still talking. Home plate umpire has, hasn't had anything to say since he said it was he was in the base path. So this is a five minute argument at least that's going on. So I don't think they kicked anybody out or threw anybody out. So I have no idea what's going on, but it's somebody in the dugout. So he, he, he tossed somebody from the dugout. And who did he toss? Somebody has to leave, and I don't know who it is. I haven't seen. I haven't seen anybody leave. I think it might have been a fan outside that had to leave. All right. First pitch is upstairs, ball one to Nick Collinsworth. So that will go as a strikeout and a pass ball.
First strikeout for Kitchen, but of course it's not an out. So runner at first, nobody out. Collinsworth count one and zero. Oh. We're in the bottom of the six of a 12-12 slugfest. Pitch. Right called, yeah. Top of the order next. Pitch, swung on, lined into right field. Base hit, got by the right fielder. That's gonna score a run. And the runner's gonna go to third. So a strikeout and a runner getting to first base ends up scoring a run to go up 13-12 with a runner now at third base. So it's now 13-12 but it brings up the top of the order with nobody out here in the sixth for Lawrence County. Infield will come in. Fletcher will step up. His fifth appearance. And the first pitch is a called strike. He's reached on an air, grounded out to the pitcher, walked, and he singled. He is one for three. He has scored three times. Pitch, just missed, one and one. <laughs> one, one pitch, upstairs, two and one. Kitchen ready, the pitch, right two call, beautiful pitch. Broke it over on the inside part of the plate. Two and two, what a crazy game. Greenup County ties it in the top of the six, 12-12. Lawrence County's come back to get one. They got a runner at third. Swung on, grounder, second baseman, shortstop has it, throws, got him, run scores. Good play though. Shortstop going behind the bag. That's Hankins, the eighth grader, and making the play. Coming to the plate, the left fielder, number 12, Braden Maynard. So the bases are empty with one out, two runs in. To make it 14 to 12. Brings up. Braden Maynard, who has singled and scored, an RBI single and scored, two-run triple and scored, and flew out to left field. Three for four. And he looks at ball one, a little bit high. He is three for four. He has three RBIs, and he scored three times. Kitchen ready, and a 1-0 pitch is upstairs again, 2-0. Pitch, strike, went for it. Two and one. Kitchen ready and the two one pitch. Outside and high, three and one. Well, you don't want to put anybody on base here. You got one out, you're down two, you want to get out of this inning and See if you can come back in the top of the seventh and score some runs. Yeah. 
walked him. Coming to the plate, the third baseman, number five, Abner Collinsworth. First walk given up by Kitchen. Fourth given up by Greenup County Pitching. Puts a runner at first base with one out. Brings up Abner Collinsworth, sacrificed fly RBI, singled and scored, struck out and walked. Officially one for two. Throw down the second on the steal, and he's there. All of a sudden, Kitchen is just getting high with everything. Stolen base. Pitch swung on, fouled over to the third base dugout. One and one. One ball, one strike. Kitchen steps off the rubber. Pitch swung on foul. Kitchen looks in for the sign. Pitch swung on, grounded to third. Third baseman has it. They got a runner in the rundown. He's just going to chase him down and tag him. Great job by Atkins, who just chased him down. Runner will be safe at first with the fielder's choice, but there's two down. Coming to the plate, the first baseman, number eight, Bryce Blevins. <laughs> So two down, and it brings up Bryce Blevins, who has an RBI single runner at first. Throw over, runner back. Throw over again, runner back. Large County fans have been wild tonight. The student body. I mean, they brought some students out. It's been neat. First pitch swung on, popped up. Out of play. Pitch, runner going. Here's the throw down, and he's out. Yeah. Nice throw. Caught stealing to end the inning. But in the sixth Lawrence inning, Lawrence, Lawrence County gets two runs on one hit. No errors. Nobody left on base. We go to the seventh in a marathon game. It is Lawrence County 14, Greenup County 12. Back with the seventh in a moment on the Cool Hit Sports Network.
someone will be with you. Don't know when. Don't hold your breath. But keep waiting. You don't have anything better to do. You know, at First and People's Bank, you don't have to wait for an answer. The decision makers are at the bank, and the friendly tellers are always ready to wait on you. First and People's Bank, the home office, member equal housing lender, FDIC. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, then you're looking for Stultz Pharmacy. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care. 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery and drive through service for prescriptions. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup and Wheelersburg. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. What are the keys to better health care? At SOMC, we start by putting it right at your fingertips. Now you can have a virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center, very good things are happening here. You know, we go to the top of the seventh inning. And Carson Wyman will lead things off for Greenup County, followed by Hunter Clevenger and Brock Kitchen. And the first pitch to Wyman is inside and high ball one. Deerfield stays on the mound for Lawrence County, and the pitch is upstairs, ball two. Wyman has singled, struck out, walked and scored, infield hit and scored. So he's two for three, two runs scored. Pitch low, 3 0. Greenham County, 2 in the third, 4 in the fourth, 1 in the fifth, 6, or 5 in the sixth. Lawrence, 2 in the first, 3 in the second, 4 in the third, 3 in the fourth, and 2 in the sixth to go up 14 12. After Greenham had come back to tie it, this one is to the backstop. So four pitches, and Wireman is on first, and three of those pitches weren't even close. The second walk given up by field, Deerfield and the fourth given up by Lawrence County pitching. That's going to bring up Hunter Clevenger. Clevenger has struck out, RBI single, single, and flew out to right field. Wireman on down at first. Clevenger is the tying run. Pitch in the dirt. Gets away from the catcher all the way down first baseline and Wireman at second. Runner in scoring position. Five pitches from Deerfield, nothing close. Bullpen activity for Lawrence. And pitching coach is going to come out and talk to his team while they start some warm-up activity down in the bullpen. So, Wireman is on down at second base. Clevenger is at the plate. Nobody out. Top of the seventh inning. Greenup County trails by two, 14-12. Greenup County. At the end of three innings, trailed nine to two. They came back to tie it in the sixth, top of the sixth at 12-12. And then Lawrence comes up with two in the bottom of the sixth to go up 14-12. Clevenger steps up, one to no to count. Pitch, strike down the heart of the plate, strike. One and one. That's a pitch you want to go after. Pitch. 
Pitch, swing and a miss. Fastball on the outside part of the plate. One and two. Kitchen on deck. Deerfield looks in, has a sign. Checks Weirman and a one-two pitch. Swung on, grounded towards first base. First base has it, has to flip to the pitcher covering, and he got him. Good job. Weirman moves over to third, one away. Three to one for the putout. The pitcher, number seven, Brock Kitchen. Brings up Brock Kitchen. He has singled to left center field, sacrificed fire RBI, two-run single, and a single to right field. He is three for three, three RBIs, and has scored a run. And he steps up with Weirman at third base and one out, down by two. Pitch popped up. Shortstop. Makes the catch, and there's two down. Coming to the plate, the second baseman, number 10, Jonah Gibson. It's going to bring up Gibson. Making his first appearance at the plate, hitting 277 on the year. Two down, top of the seventh. Greenup trails by two, runner at third. First pitch, he bunts down the third baseline. Here comes the runner, and he's going to be safe at first base. One run in to make it 14-13. On the bunt single RBI by Gibson. Now batting the catcher, number 14, Logan Bays. So it makes it 14-13. With Gibson on down at first base, the tying run, and Bays coming to the plate, the go-ahead run. He has struck out, flew out to center, tripled to right, and been hit by the pitcher and scored twice. Gibson takes a lead at first. Pitch. Right call. Good pitch. Oh, and one to Bays. A one pitch swung on ground ball in the center field for a base hit. And the Musketeers are still alive. Second hit by Bays. Hit number 14 in the ball game. Matthew Boggs. Fourteen hits in the ball game for Greenup County. Thirteen hits for Lawrence County. Twenty-seven hits in this ball game and twenty-seven runs scored. Brings up Matthew Boggs. He has popped up to the catcher and got on with catcher interference and scored. And the first one is lined into left center field. One run will score. It goes, and they'll send Bays to third, and they'll send Boggs to second, and we're tied at 14. Now batting the shortstop, number 11, Eli Hankins. Runners at second and third. And Hankins coming up. He has reached on an air, singled, grounded out, and walked. He is one for three. RBI single for Boggs. To tie the ball game at 14-14. Greenup County has scored twice here in the seventh. They have Bays down at third base. 
Boggs is at second base with that double. That was an RBI double, not a single. And Hankin steps up. And the first pitch is outside ball one. Base hit will give Greenup County the lead to go into the bottom of the seventh. What a ball game. Pitch. Called strike. I don't know about that. He's been pretty consistent with that outside, though. Looked like it was a little bit high. One and one. One ball, two strikes to Hankins, top of the order on deck. We're tied 14-14. Deerfield ready, one, two. Outside, almost got by the catcher. Two and two. Two two pitch, swing and a miss. He struck him out. Went after a high fastball and missed it. Greenup County scores two runs in the top half of the seventh inning. Second strikeout for Deerfield, the six for Greenup uh, for Lawrence County pitching, but Greenup County comes up with two to tie it on three hits, no errors, and two left on the base. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Tied 14-14 on the Cool Hits Sports Network. What are the keys to better health care? At SOMC, we start by putting it right at your fingertips. Now you can have a virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center. Very good things are happening here. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS. For Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location, now open. Tres Hermanos Nunez. Since 1950. Rock Kitchen to face four, five, and six. And here's a line shot into left field. Clevenger there makes the catch. One away. That was Bryce Blevins who had an RBI single, walked RBI single and popped up. He flew out to left. Clevenger was right there. Brings up Ethan Witt, the right fielder. He has an RBI single, popped up, reached on an air, and flew out to left field. 1-4-4 four, four in the ball game. First pitch from Kitchen to the backstop, ball one. Kitchen beginning his third inning of work. One out. Swing and a miss, strike two. Let's go, 
Pitch, swung on, ground ball, left field, base hit. So the winning run is at first base. That's hit number 14 for Lawrence County. Greenham County has 15. Running for Witt will be number 19, Ryan Markham. So we've had 29 hits play. in this ball game, 28 runs. Number 11, Will Lafferty. Brings up Lafferty. Got a courtesy runner or a pinch runner in at first base. And Will Lafferty comes up. He has a bunt single, flew out to right, popped up to second, and flew out to center. He is one for four. Winning run is at first base with one out here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Pitch. Just missed, good pitch. A little bit inside. Wanna know. Throw the first runner back. Still have Wireman at first base. Gibson at second base. Hankins at shortstop. Atkins at third base. That's your infield for Greenup County. Pitch, swing and a miss. Got Boggs out in right field. Clarkson in center field. And Clevenger in left field. Count one and one to Lafferty. Pitch, swung on, fouled to the first base dugout. One and two. Runner at first base, one out. Bottom of the seventh, tie ball game. Swing and a miss, or he foul tipped it right out of the catcher's glove. Count stays one and two. Runner takes the lead. Down at first base. Kitchen looks in for the sign. One ball, two strikes. He'll come to the plate. Just missed. Good pitch. Two and two. Not going to get any breaks, that's for sure. He's been calling that outside pitch a strike both ways, but that one close, no cigar. Two, two. And now Lafferty steps out. Pitch, swung on, lined in the left field. Clevenger will get it in. And the winning run is now at second base with back-to-back -back hits. Coming to the plate, the catcher, number 24, Blake Prater. Hit number 15 for Lawrence County. Both teams have 15 hits in this ball game. And coming to the plate is Blake Prater for the first time. Came in for the catcher when he got hurt on the catcher interference. So he comes up to the plate for the first time and he comes up with runners at first and second and one out in the bottom of the seventh.
Greg Logan. Moving his outfield around. Prater steps up. Base hit could win this ball game. Winning run down at second base. And a fake throw back to second. Runner diving back in. Prater steps back up. Pitch, swing and a miss. Gets out in front of, and the runners are gonna move up. He swung at a pitch that was in the dirt and it got away from Bays and went out in front of the plate. And neither Bays nor Kitchen could get to it before the runners move up. So now the winning run is a fly ball away. Going to bring the in the going to bring the outfield in. Try to get the runner at third on the fly ball. If you hit it over his head, ball game anyway. So that's the strategy. Bring the outfield in. Try to get a play at the plate on a tag. And if Prater can hit it over his head, more power to him. Strike two called. 0 oh and 2. Strikeout would be huge here. Jacob Fletcher on deck. Kitchen ready. Pitch outside and high. 1 and 2. One ball, two strikes, one out. Runners at second and third for Lawrence County. Pitch, swing and a miss, he struck him out. Coming to the plate, the second baseman, number three, Jacob Fletcher. Second strikeout for Kitchen. And the fourth for Greenup County pitching. And it brings up Jacob Fletcher, who's flown out to right center field, reached on an air, singled, and struck out. And he's the one that was safe at first on the pass ball, and the ball hit him on the throwdown in the back of the head, which caused all the commotion. And he later scored on the triple by Collinsworth. The winning run is at third base with two outs in the bottom of the seventh. 14-14 score. Unbelievable. Kitchen ready and the pitch swung on. Ground ball hit over into center field ball game. RBI single to center field. And this one belongs to the dogs with one run at the bottom of the seventh. They score one. County wins. On three hits, they leave two. And the final score, Lawrence County 15, Greenup County 14. Back with your totals in just a moment on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichanga, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location, now open. Tres Hermanos Nunez. 
Since 1956, Sperry Auto Parts has served the Tri-State with used, late model, foreign, and domestic auto parts. Sperry Auto Parts stays in touch with dealers nationwide through their hotline service for parts and late model repairable cars, trucks, and SUVs specializing in Jeep, Chrysler, and GM. Sperry's provides a 30-day warranty on engines and transmissions. They also have a computerized inventory, making for quicker and better service. See the winning team at Sperry Auto Parts, Route 8 in South Portsmouth, Kentucky, across from the Carl Perkins Bridge. Back here at Lawrence County, where Lawrence County has defeated Greenup County 15 to 14 in a slugfest. Your total, Greenup County, 14 runs, 15 hits, five errors, 10 left on base. Lawrence County, 15 runs, 16 hits, three errors, eight left on base. Lawrence County had two in the first, three in the second, four in the third, three in the fourth, none in the fifth, two in the sixth, and the winning run of the seventh. Greenup, two in the third, four in the fourth, one in the fifth, five in the sixth, and two in the seventh. Greenup trailed 9-2 at one time and came back to tied at 12-12, got down 14-12, came back to tied at 14-14, and then Lawrence County wins it in the seventh inning, 15-14. We'll come back and talk with Coach Greg Logan on the postgame. We'll do that in a couple of moments on the Cool Hit Sports Network. I can't believe the house is ours. Finally, freedom. Today's the day, my own business. These are the moments you'll remember forever when a bank becomes more than a checking account or loan. At People's Bank, our core difference is providing you peace of mind and confidence in your financial life. By asking the right questions and working with you, we earn your business. Together, we're building financial success one special moment at a time. People's Bank, working together, building success. 